So every morning, Hagrid likes to sit in the sun on the couch, usually around between 9 a.m. to noon. And if he's feeling really happy, he likes to roll around. It's kind of hard to catch him when he does it naturally, but <laughs> it's pretty good. Every day he does this. What is going on, my boys from America? How's it going? Hope you're having a wonderful time. Uh, so Christmas happened and New Year's happened. It's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. Been a little bit busy. I wanted, I was thinking about recording New Year's stuff and Christmas stuff, but I figured I just kind of wanted to, to just, just live it and not interfere, you know? Just kind of actually like enjoy it and not worry about, oh, does it look good on camera and stuff. I'm like, I just want to be comfy. You're probably wondering what I got for Christmas. Well, howdy. Uh, basically, a bunch of money and chocolate, which I am more than fine with. Uh, I actually used the money to spend it towards a uh, Go XLR. So we have that now. So this is uh, pretty uh, cool. It's actually uh, really, really handy. I have uh, some old audio equipment. My old audio was a nightmare to make. Well, it wasn't. Really, it sounded good. It wasn't really a nightmare, but it was very, um, I guess, unstable. Is the word I'm looking for. Like I couldn't change too much. Like my audio levels, the way how I did everything. They had like their quirks, like if I updated my driver on either PC, my sound settings would reset, yada, 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 yada. But now like with this, I can finally hear all of like my stream alerts because it has like a billion lines in line. I guess it doesn't mean it's just four or five, but still, um, oh my God, it, it, uh, I don't have ground loop noise to my stream PC anymore. So now like I sound a very minute better. It's not noticeable, no one will notice, but I notice it. Um, <clears throat> it's been great. But other than that, what else have I been up to? Um, hanging out with the boys a bit. Didn't record any footage, but we did go auto. It's like rock climbing, but you have like the, the harness on, it's the rope and you can go like super high and stuff. I guess that's just mountain climbing. I don't know, they, they call it something else, auto something. Uh, me, Cooper, and Brian did that the other day, so we have a little bit of footage, and uh, I'm going again this weekend with a, a co-worker of his, so maybe I'll record some more there. Let's find out, I guess. Oh, do they sell Miller Lights here? Uh, Mill Street! They should. They should. I'm gonna sue them if they don't. Get fucked, get, Mill Street. Get fucked. Alright, Eddie, I need a uh, play-by-play. What? I need a play-by-play -play commentary on how Cooper should play. All right, left foot, moving up the right foot, up the notch. And he's looking up, looking at his feet position, left arm, giving a little hankery doodle, trying to make sure that his arm has enough strength. But look at that, the left foot, right foot technique at it again. Right foot going up first this time, unorthodox, unheard of, going up. Oh, nothing on the left foot though. Oh, just kidding. It's very subtle, but it's there. He's pushing all that he's got. Right up. He's cheating. He's, he's disqualified. Think you cheat, buddy? I saw that. Nice job. Mobile post-production Eddie on voice over alert. This is uh, this was my second time technically climbing, but kind of my first auto beveling or whatever it's called. Uh, first time I've ever actually gotten that high. Because we went bouldering before, which is more of a basic thing. Um, yep, nice. Yeah, it's uh, actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. Have some. Essentially, I'm climbing up the more of the beginner ones, but goddamn, they're hard. They're tough. <clears throat> For anyone who doesn't know, basically, uh, you have to go up a certain path, which is color-coded. So, for example, I'm going only up the green ones, while Cooper's only going up uh, the red ones. You technically could just go up whatever you want, but then that's not as challenging, right? Um, and also, uh, the higher you get, um, I'm glad I'm not alone on this. So, obviously, once you start going up that high... Uh, technically, like you are safe. Like if you fall down, you fall down. These things are tested, used a billion times a day, right? But you know, when you get this high and you look down, it's it's a little it's a little spooky. And you know, Brian's the one who's the expert on this, 
and he still occasionally gets a little spooked by like if he goes to like a newer height or at the start of the day so i'm glad i'm not alone on that but this was a really fun experience and can't wait to do it again